Welcome back to TMZ Live. So Joyce Gerard, you remember Joyce Gerard was on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And then she uh, was not on Real Housewives. She got fired. She got fired. They moved on, they, they made a change. Well, Joyce was never too upset about it, and now we know why, because, and I'm curious to find out when she had this plan, but Joyce has a new show of her own. Uh, it's almost like she kind of learned a little bit from them and then said, I'm gonna do it better. She's doing a show now, it's called Actually, why don't you go ahead? Your, your Spanish is much I, better I think than it's mine. Rica Famosa Latina, which Rica is basically Famosa. a real housewife show. Um, and it is on Estrella TV, um, which uh, services the, uh, the Latin Spanish market, speaking. the Spanish-speaking market. Right. Um, uh, when I heard this, and, and, and by the way, we got this video. This, is, uh, this will give you an idea. This is These are beautiful the women party. fighting, okay? Yeah. This is the launch party. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> See, she does the maneuver, he pulled the shirt over? That is smart fighting right there. All right, so we so know that jo Joyce found is, some brawlers. Let's bring uh, her in. This hey. is just a launch party, by the way, uh, where they're all celebrating the fact that they have this show. So Joyce is, is with us right now. Hey, Joyce, you there? Hi. Joyce, I, I want to say out of the gate, I think you are awesome. I think you are brilliant. I get what you did. This was... <laughs> This was beyond smart, Joyce. Congratulations. It's kind of, kind of Trojan horse. I mean Harvey, th thank you for always supporting all my endeavors because you're always a sweetheart. I still want to come in and be with you guys there one day. We will, we will do yes. that, but I'm not BSing you. If I, I mean, I, I honestly believe this was such smart marketing because this will do, I believe this will do better um, than Real Housewives of Atlanta, ultimately. I mean, because I think there's a market to service and you figured this thing out and you've taken the elements of the American show and it's awesome. So did you have the idea before you got fired? Well, I had the idea for a long time now. Um, I know Housewives didn't portray that, that side of me, but I'm a producer. I love to be behind the cameras as well, not just in front of the cameras. And I've been producing with my husband feature films and television shows. And this is our first reality production that we're doing. We have two others on the works um, and two other American speaking shows on the works as well. Okay, so, so Joyce, uh, during the launch party, were you there when this went down? And what do you do as the producer when, I, I mean, I, I understand, what do you do when you see a fight like this break out? Because let's be honest, this is probably not, this doesn't hurt ratings. Well, first and foremost, I do have to say that I don't condone violence. and. As you guys have seen me before on The Housewives, I like to take care of my arguments verbally. I don't think it ever has to get to an art, a, a violent nature where people really get hurt. It's been a really explosive season. I was there. Um, I was always there in the shoots because I'm producing it and I'm very close to the project. Um, so yes, I was there. We never anticipated that this would happen. We never expected it or wanted people to get hurt. Uh, unfortunately, it ended up with a lot of people getting hurt, a police report, and paramedics being rushed in. What started, what, what started this? Well, we've had two of our leading ladies that have been at each other's throats the entire season, and we've seen explosions that I've never seen in any other reality show in the American world, and it was just, it was just a little bit of craziness. Um, and these explosions, unfortunately, in this particular party, one of the ladies decides to hold a speech. The other one interrupts her. They start fighting. Egos get involved. They start discussing who has more money than who. And it just exploded and ended up in this massive brawl that you're watching right now. OK, I'm going to ask the question at the, at, at the risk of being inappropriate here, but I got to ask it, that there is a whole kind of the hot Latina um, you know, caricature of somebody the that they get upset. Sort of, they get upset yeah. very fast and they get right. very, you know, emotional and everything else. Is that real? And if it is, how does that play into your show? It is real. I think uh, being Latina, and I include myself, we're very passionate in the good sense and in the bad sense. We, we tend to ignite very fast. Again, I don't think every Latina explodes and takes care of things violently. I'm an example, I'm one of them. I'm, I mean, there's a million Latinas that handle their issues properly and uh, argue with arguments verbally, not attacking each other and punching each other out. <laughs> so so I, I don't wanna say that it's the typical stereotype. I think Latinas are very beautiful, powerful, strong, intelligent, and independent women. Okay, crazy, <laughs> qu crazy question. If this thing works and it's got the heat and the beauty that I think it does, it would does. this show ever work subtitled in English for American TV? A hundred percent. I mean, we own the show and we're gonna sell it internationally. 
Um, it's all, we're already in talks uh, with various territories. So 100%, it's a show that will travel and will translate. Interesting. Huh. Brilliant, Joyce. All right. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank Rica. you so much for everything. Good Rica, luck. Good Rica luck in the show. Famosa Latina. Famosa a... Latina. We're premiering September 16th, uh, Estrella September 16th, TV. Ne next week on Estrella TV. All right. Really smart. Okay. Thanks, we're, Joyce. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Katy Perry. This is a great war. And Taylor Swift. You're